Red Cross volunteers are standing by to help. They've been planning since at least Thursday. As Matt Markham reports, the early preparation comes in part from what they went through last year. Preparedness is everything for an event like this. The Red Cross has called on nearly 100 volunteers to be ready to respond to Sandy. People are coming in, they're getting their assignments, whether they're going to be staffed in a shelter, whether they're going to be distributing goods. Coordinating concerns by phone at their operation center open Sunday and by applications on your phone. Should power go out, you can find a shelter on the Red Cross mobile app. They should definitely have a plan uh, to evacuate. They need to know that if they lose power or if a tree limb comes down on their house, what to do and where to go. If the Red Cross must be deployed within the next few days, it'll be a true test of what it has learned since dealing with Tropical Storm Irene last year. It was gaps in communication. Sometimes we had sites where it was hard to get to uh, to distribute goods um, and identifying rural areas. Also understood the equally important need they say for attention to mental health. People who feel uncomfortable or are full of anxiety can't cope with the problem solving that needs to happen once you get hit by a storm like that. The Red Cross covers a 17 county swath of upstate New York. Vehicles are on standby should they need to hit the road to help you. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. The Red Cross also had a blood drive today, just in case they end up needing a bigger blood supply than what was already on hand.